Hello everyone, this is Sujit Ubale and today I am going to deliver a lecture on accelerated stability testing of any formulation. So before uh, starting the accelerated stability testing topic, uh, I will discuss about the shelf life of any uh, dosage form or expiry date of any dosage form. As we have seen each and every dosage form has a specific shelf life or expiry date then what does it mean that uh, expiry date or shelf life so uh, uh, the formulating uh, company is uh, uh, printing the expiry date on that uh, dosage form that means there should be or uh, they have done a stability testing on that dosage form to predict a uh, shelf life or expiry date of that dosage form okay so to evaluate or determine to determine the expiry date of any dosage form we have to carry out accelerated stability study okay so then what is the shelf life shelf life it is a time period in which the drug concentration decreases up to 90 percent of its initial concentration okay so that means uh, the, as we have uh, learned different order of reaction such as first order reaction zero order reaction second order reaction each order of reaction has its specific t90 t90 means shelf life of any drug okay so such as uh, first order reaction has t90 uh, as t90 is equal to uh, 0.105 upon k1 like okay so by this using this formula we can calculate expiry date or shelf life of any formulation so now we will discuss about the accelerated stability testing of formulation okay so generally uh, in a normal stability testing procedure we have to uh, keep our uh, dosage form at a no, uh, room temperature or normal temperature that is uh, around 25 degrees Celsius okay in stability testing we have to keep uh, dosage form at uh, normal temperature then after some time interval we have to take out that dosage form and we have to evaluate the different parameters such as the physicochemical parameter or uh, microbial parameter or uh, its therapeutic uh, effect etc suppose any dosage form uh, has three year shelf life that means at a normal temperature we have to uh, conduct that testing up to three years and it is very time consuming okay that means uh, the uh, to predict or uh, for testing dosage form by normal condition it's very time consuming that's why we have to move for uh, or we have to uh, uh, conduct accelerated stability now the word is accelerated the term accelerated means we have to increase or elevate okay accelerated means we have to increase or elevate the circumstances of that drug such as the temperature humidity uh, pH okay that means as we increase such uh, parameters then the test will conducted in a short period of time okay so in accelerated stability study we have to increase temperature humidity uh, pH okay so uh, now we will discuss about the different steps involved in a accelerated stability testing okay first of all suppose there is any dosage form uh, take example tablets whose uh, accelerated stability is to be performed okay then some tablet keep at a 40 degree celsius some tablet keep for 50 degree celsius some for 60 and some for 70 degree celsius for a specific period of time then that means here we have increased okay that we have increased the uh, temperature okay so as you can see on a slide okay you can see on a slide after some uh, time interval we have to evaluate such as color odor taste particle size crystal crystallization or concentration of active compound or drug degradation drug excipient reaction 
okay or the degradation of the product by microbial contamination or change in the therapeutic or biological effect that we have to evaluate after some time interval okay so and then after some in time interval then we have to uh, we have increased the uh, temperature okay the temperature is the main factor which affect the drug stability the most satisfactory method of expressing the influence of temperature on reaction velocity is arrhenius equation according to arrhenius as we increase the 1 degree celsius the reaction rate will increase up to 10x that means the reaction rate will increase gradually okay or arrhenius equation can be used to predict the effect of temperature on any drug degradation okay so the arrhenius equation is k is equal to a e raised to minus e a upon r t okay in this equation k is a rate constant okay then a is a frequency factor frequency factor means the frequency of collision between the molecules to form a product okay as we know that to get a product there must be collision between the reactant molecule then e r is a gas constant t is a temperature e is a activation energy as we have learned in a previous uh, semester activation energy then now as we kept this samples tablet sample for 40 50 60 and 70 degrees celsius then we can plot a graph log concentration versus time okay log concentration versus time that means after some period of time the concentration of drug goes on decreasing okay that's why we have plot log c we have plot graph in log c versus time okay then according to arrhenius equation k is equal to a e raised to e a upon r t okay this is the equation of arrhenius then by taking a log on both side we will get natural logarithm of k is equal to minus e a upon r t plus natural logarithm of a okay then we have to take a log tan on both side then we will get a equation log k is equal to minus e a upon 2.303 into r into 1 by t plus log a okay here log a is a constant then here this equation is corresponding to the straight line equation straight line equation is y is equal to mx plus c okay then like that on y axis we have to plot log k and then on x axis we have to plot 1 by t and slope will be minus ea upon 2.303 into r and log a is a constant okay then as we plot a graph against log k versus 1 by t we will get a straight line okay from 70 degree celsius to 40 degree celsius from higher to lower because we have taken one upon t if we have taken directly temperature then we will get a straight line in a opposite direction from lower to higher but because of we have taken one by t we got a straight line from higher to lower okay then if we plot a temperature 70 60 50 40 degree we will get a straight line from those points and at that point suppose take example at a 60 degree celsius we got we will get k value at a 60 degree celsius at a 50 degree celsius we will get a k value that is k 50 k 60 k 70 k 40 like this but generally we uh, kept our dosage form at a room temperature and it is around 25 degree celsius by this graph we got k value for up to only 40 degree celsius then what about the 25 degree celsius 
then we have to extra plot the line from 40 degree celsius to up to 25 degree celsius because we generally keep our dosage form or store our dosage form at a room temperature then by extra plotting the line we will get a k value at a 25 degree celsius okay so that will be your k value at a 25 degree celsius after getting k value you can easily put this k value in a shelf life formula so take example if your reaction is first order reaction then the t90 formula is t90 is equal to 0 0.105 upon k1 okay so by graph you got k value put this value in a formula and you can easily calculate t90 that is a shelf life or expiry date of any dosage form okay i hope you understood this lecture thank you very much